The journey from Colombo into Marskelia area is far from boring. The drive from Colombo via Avisavela, Caravanella, Ginigathena into Hatton is one of the most picturesque drives one could undertake. As you start the climb from Caravanella, you will encounter beautiful rural countryside scenes with meandering streams and jungle vistas. On the way to Hatton, some of the most verdant estates of the region are found on either side of the road. Once you pass Hatton Town and come into Big Oya, the estate of Vanaraja and its tea factories stand imposing on the hillside. It's here the scenery of tea estates suddenly changes to greet the traveller with the calm waters of the Castlereagh Reservoir, juxtaposed with the carpets of lush tea fields. It's in this picture postcard setting that we encounter the Christ Church Wale Thick Oya. The Christ Church Wale is an Anglican church built in 1878 by the British. The church was built by William Scott, the then manager of the governor's mansion. The entrance to the chapel premises faces the Thick Oya main road. The church has been built and located at a high elevation overlooking the Castlereagh Reservoir. The entrance to the church has a small driveway lined with tombstones. The reservoir and the tea fields can be sighted behind and on the sides. A closer look at the gravestones show the names of English colonial planters who worked in the area over a century ago. These planters devoted their lives to their profession and to transforming the hill country with the now world-famous Ceylon tea fields, but in doing so, never made it back to England. Part of the graveyard overlooks the tea fields and Castlereagh Reservoir. The Thick Oya stream winds its way behind the church and among the tea fields into the reservoir, adding to a sense of serene atmosphere. The church was built in a typical old British church architectural style. The walls of the church are created with granite stones, giving it a sturdy look among the imposing hillside. A top view of the church shows the architecture revealing a distinct shape of a cross. Inside the church, there are two rows of wooden pews able to seat a congregation of around 100 worshippers. An ancient pipe organ, which has seen better days, is still in working condition and was carefully restored in 2012. An ornate wooden pulpit is located to the left of the entrance and on the east side of the building. The interior walls of the church have brass plates embedded, tributes to people who have passed on. Notable is one commemorating fallen heroes of World War I. The 19th century stained glass windows create a beautiful ambience, depicting visuals of Jesus Christ. These windows of exceptional color and clarity were brought down from England. The baptismal font, made of white porcelain, is embellished with floral designs. The floor, too, has floral motifs within the tiles which are set out. One of the treasured artifacts of the church is a Bible, which was used at the inception. This Bible, now 142 years old, is displayed for visitors to see. For our bishop and for all the clergy. And the church has services on every first, third and fifth Sunday of every month in English, while the other Sunday services are conducted as a bilingual mass. While your journey to the Central Highlands may be motivated by the tea fields or the beautiful waterfalls and landscapes fringed with water, a stop at Dikoya is well worth the time spent. The small church of Christchurch Wale 
with its tombstone seemingly reaching to the sky and overlooking the scenic tea fields and reservoir marks an era gone by and will leave you with a memorable impression of its beauty coupled with serenity of the location.